Um, if you can't get enough reading about metal, uh, this is louder than hell, the definitive oral history of heavy metal. It covers every genre. Uh, just take a look at it. It's the war and peace of metal. Great book. My book is a guy named Jason Ellis. He's a DJ on Sirius XM, Faction, great guy. Uh, the Awesome Guide to Life. This is his second book, just about being a guy. It's called Get Fit, Get Laid, and Get Your <laughs> Together. Nice. Really funny book, great dude, check him out. Don't go anywhere just yet. We'll find out what's going on with a former member of Motley. Then the curtain calls for two crew classics to end the show. We'll be right back with more of that metal show. Hey, Tom, take us out. <laughs> classics home of all things hard rock and heavy metal you can also say it's the place where we catch up with old friends so now is a good time as any to see what's going on with john karabi guy that we get a lot of email about i see john every year around this time on the monsters of rock cruise kind of stumbling around with a a bottle of drink and playing some acoustic songs and uh, he put out an acoustic record not too long ago of course he was in motley at one point which we touched on yep. and tom you saw him recently right Karabi? yeah last year when i was out touring with my solo band john opened some of the shows for us so I i've known john for years from philadelphia days yeah yeah so. talented guy and Very now talented. all three of you are nashville guys yes he may. Last I talked to him, he did. He had a band with Bruce Kulick for a little while right. called Union, Union, yeah, which is a really good band. I, I kind of some rumblings, maybe they do something again, but I'm not sure if that's the case. So yeah. we'll see what happens. Yeah, great singer songwriter. Yeah. All right, now for our last order of business. In one corner, we have the live wire that electrified the Sunset Strip, Motley Crue's "Too Fast for Love." In the other corner, it's the hit parade that marched Satan right back to hell. Shout at the devil. The two albums that put Motley on the main stage, but only one will bring this house down. In the throwdown. Can I get two minutes on the clock, please? All right, Kurt? I gotta go too fast for love. All right, Tom? Too fast for love. Mick Mars. Too fast for love. Wow. I'm making it a clean sweep. It's my favorite Motley album, Too Fast for Love. Shout at right. the devil. Oh. All right. And we, you know, we have done this throwdown before, and the first time we did it, I picked Too Fast for Love, and like, the old Motley song, I'm sticking to my guns, and I'm staying too fast for love, is the Very better good. album. Shout the Devil's good. a metal record to me. Totally. Too Shout Fast to for Love's more of a hard rock record. I, you know, it's the heaviest Motley record besides maybe the Karabi, those two. Uh, Shout like, is totally a darker, it's they were it's full dark, on metal, heavy, dark, whatever. That's but, why I picked that one. Great songs on it, it's evil, it's heavy. But to me, Too Fast for Love, the songs are better top to bottom by far, in my opinion. And, and it's that perfect balance of heaviness, but that real, there's that real punk kind of street attitude in there. Exactly. A little glitter influence, there's a little bit of everything in there. It's, it's you know, because your band has been metal, it's been rock, it's been glam, it's been pop, it's been street, it's been everything. To me, Too Fast touches on all of that in that first record. Absolutely. I agree. I mean, it's a tough one because I do like the production and the sound of Shout at the Devil me too. a lot. Yeah, yeah. But the vibe of Too Fast for Love for me just grabbed me. It's like, that's capturing it right there. Tom? And the edges. Well, it has my favorite song, Live Wire, on it. Yeah. And, and I always thought that that had a, a 70s feel to it. And ah. that's well, it I... didn't come out long after the 70s, yeah. you know, they're very early no, 80s. It, it had that true. element to it of there a lot of things go. that I grew up on. Yeah, Mick, why do you pick uh, Too Fast Why do you pick that? Um, when we recorded that album, uh, we were all very hungry and very, you know, raw. Mm -hmm. And it was like, when you go in the studio, you're not used to being in the studio, it's like, you know, Tom, it's like you go in there and it's just all this stuff and it's like kind of not chaotic, but you're in there and you're all excited and stuff and everything is just so raw and so just like real. Yeah. And, and down to like, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> is that my horn? Yeah. <laughs> we're all done. That means we're all done. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what the audience thinks. Is it uh, Shout at the Devil? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. We got a few. We got right. a few. Right. We'll see. It's going to be close. Or is it no. too fast for love? Yeah. 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 
very closer than I thought. Yeah, yeah. Closer than we were up man. here. You can't argue with the man. All right, well, that's all for that metal show. We'd like to thank Mick Mars and Kurt Vanderhoof for stopping by. And thank you to the Blues Ribbon Badass, Tom Kiefer, for killing it tonight. Of course, to everyone in the studio and all you metalheads watching at home. If you'd like to see this episode or any past episodes of That Metal Show, check out the new VH1 app or head over to thatmetalshow.vh1.com. And remember to follow us all on Twitter. For Don Jameson and Jim Florentine, I'm Eddie Trump. We'll see you right here next week on That Metal Show.